So at this point in time, is it fair to Mr. Williams for you to have another bite at the apple? Uh, we don't want the state to go ahead and continue to keep investigating an individual based on evidence that 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 that, that, that a court has suppressed. So Your that's Honor. that's kind of the where I am. Your Honor. What's up, what they do in Chaggedy TV? Tap in, tap in. It might be hope for Young Thug after all. Looks like the prosecutor was using illegal means. Top chain evidence against Young Thug. And the judge ain't going for it. If Judge Newkirk has already suppressed the marijuana on that same, under the same analysis, okay, then why wouldn't the rest of the stuff that you took be suppressible at that point in time and through the poison tree? Your Honor, the, again, this, this, the, 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 Ruling budget. It's just, just a stutter. She about to gaslighting deflect from their own, but man. This is the proof that thug lawyer found the state acquire evidence about him renting the car in Big Nuts. You got to be in the right place and space to begin with to have the authority to search the house to begin with. Mr. Steele and his motions asked for suppression of anything that was taken in the house. So, marijuana. And the and, and anything else that was the basis of that, so that's fruit of the poisonous tree. He's argued that all throughout the all throughout his uh, his motion. He's argued that, and so Judge Newkirk, by implication, had to consider it as part of his ruling. So you're asking me to kind of okay, well, the marijuana's over here, that's fine, but he he didn't suppress the other stuff. We can still use it. That's not the way I interpret this particular scenario and interpret the law related to search and seizure of this particular item. Um, if I may, the distinction is that there was a good faith basis for obtaining the search warrant and for getting the search warrant. A wait, 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 hold on, y'all hear that? They had search warrants on a good faith basis, not signed off from a lawyer. Gunner, man, you was coming home. Why this, why this man tell you, man, you was coming home. Time, sir, that man, you was coming home. But unfortunately, you was all they needed for them to establish that YXL was a criminal organization and gang. And the young thug was the leader. And your boy Walter Murphy sealed the deal saying they started YSL in 2012, man. They said prosecutorial misconduct to the side. We got these boys. And before I took a closer look at Young Thug trial, I was thinking at the time, well, it might be a wise thing for his defense team to take the best deal on the table. And if he didn't, gonna be subpoenaed to testify. And we was watching the death of a dynasty in real time, the downfall of King Schlein. Fuck you talking about? Shit, as I'm saying, if it's a will, it's a way. Through every dark night, it's a brighter day, you hear me? And I think Thug go walk. I think he go wiggle up out of there. But next time y'all with gang now, look to the right and left of yourself. Cause them niggas round you might be solid as wet tissue. Worst case scenario, you got to do that state time, you know, so free to slime and what's left of YSL. You know, the ones that didn't tell. Gunner said he getting his record expunged after his community service, so don't never ask him about this case again. So let me know in the comments. Do you think Young Thug got a chance to beat the state of Georgia in a court of law due to prosecutorial misconduct? Or is he in too deep? Did Gunner kick him on the ground while he was down and Walter put the nail in the coffin? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Integrity TV, I'm out.